Hi, I'm RJ Baxter with Fairway Independent Mortgage with your tip of the week. This week, I'm going to dive into what is APR or annual percentage rate. I'm going to explain what is APR and how does APR affect your mortgage payment? Because this is one of the most misunderstood terms in the mortgage and the finance industry. So that's why I want to put together this video. So let's dive into it. So I have in front of us here an example estimate. And this is just, this is not a compliance document or the official loan estimate that we send out with a disclosure package. This is an estimate form that we use to send out rate estimates to our clients so that it's in a more understandable format that breaks down easier. Uh, and it's, it's, this is a great way to explain APR because it'll simplify it for you. So first of all, APR is a term that the government made or a concept that the government made up to help consumers compare costs between lenders. And what APR is, it's basically a calculated interest rate. So first of all, let me show you on this estimate. At the top of this estimate, it shows this is a 30-year fixed example at 2.99%. So that's the interest rate that your mortgage payment is calculated on. That's the note rate or the interest rate of your mortgage. Um, now this is, I wanna say this, this is um, not to be construed as a rate quote, rates change every day. So this is not, depending on what day you're watching this, rates vary, so I'm happy to provide for you a, a rate estimate. But just for this example, I'm using 2.99. So that's how the payment down here is reflected. And that's how they calculate how much interest you pay over the life of the loan. Now you'll see here the APR is actually different, 3.03% in this example, because what they do is they take other costs involved with the loan, like for example, some of the fees, they amortize that over the term of the loan and they say, well, if that was actually interest, this would be your effective rate. This would actually be your rate, 3.03%. So they take some of the fees, like for example, anything lender related. So if you pay points, and I'm gonna show you an example of that here in a minute, um, lender fees like underwriting here, the title closing fee is part of APR, and then a couple other fees. Another factor that factors into the APR is prepaid interest. And what this interest is, is interest on your new loan from the day you close until the end of the month because you don't have a payment the first of the month after you close uh, on a new mortgage. So that's why they count that in the APR because it's not in the regular amortization. Also, if you have mortgage insurance on your loan, that'll factor in. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. So going back to this, note rate 2.99, APR 3.03. So let's look at an example of a situation where a consumer pays points. So that's this one here. So again, this is not a rate quote, but let's say you pay 1.1% of the loan amount in an effort to get the rate lower and have a lower payment. So you'll see here, the note rate 2.625, the cost of the point, discount points here, one point is 1% 1 of the loan amount. So in this example, 35.50, and you'll see here the payment's lower, but look at the spread between the, the note rate and the APR. So you see here the APR now is 0.12% higher than the note rate, whereas on the previous example, it was only 0.04 higher. And that's because of the, the only difference is the existence of the discount point. So going on to the next example, which is the mortgage insurance example, this one, I, I put it back at the 2.99 with no points, but I added some monthly mortgage insurance in here. And, and you'll see here this example, the loan amount's the same to keep consistency, but I this is a, a $400,000 house instead of a higher value house. So because the, the borrower in this example has less than 20% equity, they have mortgage insurance. So when you add that mortgage insurance on, that adds 112 a month. And you'll see here the spread with the APR is quite a bit higher than the note rate. And that's because they look at that mortgage insurance and they say, well, if that was interest on the loan, your rate would actually be 3.23. So that's, that's the mortgage insurance example of how mortgage insurance affects APR. So once again, your note rate is not the same as your APR. Your APR is instead a reflection of the total cost of the loan. So I hope that helps you out to understand APR a little bit more. Give me a call if you have any questions on that or anything else loan related. I'm happy to help you. That's definitely why I'm here. Once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Have a great day.